We are already at about 11% positive rate uh, on the flu side, um, which is fairly high for the start of the flu season. Epidemiologist Cynthia Carr from Epi Research explains what the province is seeing in terms of viral spread. So, uh, you know, we're seeing RSV, we're seeing colds, we're seeing COVID-19. So certainly there's lots of virus circulating and the more people are mobile, going out, getting together, back to work, in school, et cetera. And then add to that the indoor airspace where a lot of air is recirculated, um, it certainly increases uh, the opportunities for those viruses just to spread from one person to another, uh, which is what we are seeing happen. With the rise in cases of COVID-19 and other viral infections, the discussion for many is turning to mask use once again. There are surveys out there that many Canadians actually do support a mask mandate coming back. So you would think that if a number of people support that, perhaps they would just wear the mask um, themselves, but there's still that fear of being the odd one out. While there are no active plans from the province to mandate wearing masks, we hit the streets to know what Winnipeggers think about this encouraged tool of protection. You know, it just brings back the feeling of safety I would say. If it's a mandatory, I think there's going to be a lot of, no, not again, because as you can see, a lot of people are excited for Christmas and a lot of shopping, thinking, oh, it's normal, normal again, so. I kind of um, up in the air about it. Um, I don't mind necessarily wearing masks indoors. So yeah, if, um, I guess the big question would be, if, is it going to be uh, recommended or mandated? Carr encourages embracing a lifestyle that includes consciousness of protection. People just wear masks. It's just part of sort of their own protection and part of that protection for the common good, where, you know, the more of us that are using those tools, uh, the better it is. In Winnipeg, Timmy Olatunde, City News.